Hello everyone, welcome back. It's another Creative Thursday. Today you are finding me at my crafting desk. I made these little books back in winter of last year. Uh, I'll give you a little closer look. And the idea was that I would use them to write a little bit every day. I decided I was gonna write a poem every day. And the poems I shared in my vlog from a couple days ago came out of here. And while making that video, I was reminded how much I enjoyed keeping these little daily poem journals. And I thought that I would make another one for the next month. So today I'm just inviting you to follow along with me as I do a little bit of crafting. I've talked about zine making before during vets particularly how making small scrappy books allows me to be creative without feeling the pressure of perfection. My goal was the same for these mini poetry notebooks. To create the books themselves, I'm using mostly things I've salvaged from recycling. The cover is made from some children's drawing paper from elementary school. The lined paper inside comes from a partly used spiral quill notebook I took apart. The decorative elements are images cut out from magazines or pieces of old sheet music or scraps of wrapping paper with an interesting design and it's all just stapled together. The note in the front of my December booklet says, just a few words every day, and maybe, if I'm lucky, they'll add up to something. One of these small pages holds about 100 words, which is enough for a short poem or a very short bit of microfiction. Now you can get notebooks with small pages, but even a small notepad is gonna have dozens of pages. It takes a long time to finish. This book has about 40 pages, which means if I set a goal to fill a page every day, it'll take a little over a month to complete, and then I have a very cute artifact to flip through. Yesterday I mentioned I have two sides to my creative life, an internal and an external side. These notebooks are part of that internal side. Will I share any of the writing in them? I might, but they're meant to be messy. They're intentionally scrappy to give me permission to cross things out and doodle and hurriedly jot down a poem just before I go to bed so I can say I did my writing for the day. They're meant to be filled so I can move on to the next thing. Sometimes I feel like I'm doing it wrong if my art is just for myself. Like what's the point if it doesn't have an audience, if it doesn't make any money, if I don't go back to revise and polish it. And I get it, I mean, I've read enough articles to know that there are lots of reasons to make art. It reduces stress, it helps our brain form creative connections, helps us to process our emotions, it allows us to find our flow and be fully engaged in the process without worrying about the end result. But when I look back at these dumb little books, later, after the benefit of making them has passed, but before they get turned into something I share with the world, I just think, the point is, I'm alive. And I made this. As George says, look, I made a hat where there never was a hat. Okay, I have finished my little notebook. I chose fall colors. That's my little notebook. There we go. I'm quite pleased with how it turned out. It's got some little music note end pages. lined paper inside, cute little heart at the back. I hope you guys enjoyed this slightly more chill meditative crafting day and I will be back tomorrow with another video. See you then.